up everyone? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. We're back with another in real life video. And what do I got going on today? Just left another job. This one is gonna be one of those one of those repeat jobs. I'll be coming back and forth for maybe a couple days. If you guys want to know what job it is, maybe I should just go ahead and tell it because I saw like three subscribers today, kind of random, but uh, I'm just working for this moving company um, part-time. I also got like a couple other jobs part-time, but yeah, this moving company has been a little busy because it's like the, like the spring season where you have a lot of people move in spring and summer. Not as many people move during winter and fall time. I mean, people still move, but the moving season is pretty much shut in now, so it's kind of busy. And there are plenty of people moving out. <laughs> That's one thing I got to say. Um, and there are plenty of places available. I was just looking online, looking at places for rent around, and it looks like the prices are com coming down, you know? You know, and it looks like there's just a lot more out there. You used to have like a flood of folks come through and pick and choose, and now you can pick and choose. <laughs> you don't have to, uh, pick what they have you, you got a lot to you got a lot to choose from I remember back in the day in Knob Hill especially you would see people waiting outside of apartment buildings and um, they were pretty much waiting outside of an apartment building so they could move into that particular unit because they wanted to live on that block or in that building definitely not the case anymore but that was also right before they built all these well not before they built, but before a whole bunch of these new buildings open up down in uh, Soma. So now with all these buildings open up in Soma, there's there's just more places for like new folks to move to the city. There's more places for them to choose from. And there's some really cool new places for them to choose from as well, you know? Oh, this is one of those jobs, uh, you know, when I do the moving jobs, you can't take the skateboard. I'm not, no, I can't take the skateboard, but the skateboard's like, I ordered some new belts, um, and I can't take the bike, that's the thing. If I take the bike, I have to leave it outside. And it's one of those type of gigs where when I show up to the gig, I don't know if I'm going to be on the 10th floor the whole time, or I don't know if I'm going to be like on the street the whole time. Like if I'm on the street the whole time, that's like cool for like moving jobs and stuff like that, because I can like sort of keep an eye out on the bike and stuff but if i am like upstairs like on the fifth floor or on the tenth floor and i'm like not outside on the street and i can't and it's the type of situation where i can't bring my bike up sometimes these situations exist because for very reasons like maybe the building doesn't have an elevator maybe it's just too much stuff in the apartment <laughs> that was one not too long ago <laughs> I don't really talk about the moving jobs on here, which I plan not to because that's just really not my thing. I kind of want to just, you know, do them and get them over with. It's like the wind is picked up. I was just right over there like not too long ago and it was like no wind. And over here it's like crazy windy. So what I'll do is I'll take Bill Street. Bill Street is one of them downtown blocks. People know Bill Street because it's one of those streets you can use to get on the 580 to exit the city to go to Oakland. So people will be doing this 580, y'all. We got the old bridge there. That bridge is old. Look how old it is up there. Pretty cross. did not know if that car was going to stop. I was a little spooked. <laughs> this is like um, a little dog park over here. I don't think it has any grass. I think it's just, just like rocks, stone or whatever. So what else is going on in the world today? So. 
You know a question people ask me? I get this question all the time. Jermaine Ellis, why don't you use TikTok? Like, why don't you use TikTok? And for the most part, I'm not gonna just beat around the bush and, you know, give you all a whole bunch of crap why I don't use TikTok, because this is, my gosh, people ask this question all the time. But it mainly boils down to, I just don't believe that TikTok is like all that, like authentic. Um, when you look at like follow number, follow accounts, right? I just don't think it's all authentic. And I know some people may disagree and say, well, how do you know Instagram or YouTube is not authentic? Well, I don't, but I feel like I trust YouTube and Instagram like way more than I do TikTok, right? Another thing I don't like about TikTok is I don't like the fact that um, someone's like waiting for me up here across the street, so. I'm just gonna cross the street so they can keep waiting. Um, another thing about TikTok, I don't like the fact that they they use keystrokes. Like they'll um, when you download the app, like they can see things that you do outside of the app, and they can see keystrokes. I, I don't really like that too much. So that's another reason I don't um, take part in TikTok. And then another thing about TikTok too. You don't really have a lot of data about TikTok. Like, like, and once again, like, I don't know for sure, but like, I don't, I don't know if there's like analytics that can tell you like what what people are watching it, your 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 TikToks from. Are they watching from the U.S.? Are they watching it from you know Eastern Eastern Europe? Like, are they watching from like where? Because if you're getting a whole bunch of views from like India, which TikTok is banned in India, so you won't have to worry about. TikTok being in India, let's actually go this far. Um, you won't have to worry about TikTok being banned in India. If you're getting that many views, yo, I would think that you would be at that a bunch of noodles. <laughs> San Francisco. Um, if you're getting that many views on, on TikTok, you should be able to like, like make a lot of money off of that. But what you have is you have people that have like millions and millions of followers on TikTok and they make like no money. So to me, I look at that like, wait, 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 what are we doing here? Like you're putting all this time into it and you're not even really getting any like, you know, you're not getting that much money off of it. I know people that make, you know, they have like, what, 100K subscribers on Instagram and they make like, way more than like some people that have like five million subs on TikTok, which is nuts because five million versus a hundred thousand. Like I just kind of feel like TikTok is like a little inflated, you know? I'm not saying that it all is because obviously there's this such thing as called TikTok creators, but I think some of these numbers can be very well like greatly inflated and I also think some of the YouTube short numbers can be inflated and the reason why I say that is because sometimes um, with YouTube shorts I, I, I like try to I look at the numbers and like the numbers don't a lot of them don't make sense like the watch time seems to be very very off on a lot of the YouTube shorts it seems like the watch time is like much higher than what it should be based on the amount of views. Um, yeah, I've been experimenting with like some other channels that I got. And some like some of these some of these watch time numbers, they just don't even seem like they they don't, they don't they don't seem like they make sense. Like I'll make like a four second reel and the watch time will be like hundreds of hours, right? But then it doesn't have that many views to match the the number of hours. Like it's really weird. Um, also, by the way, I didn't want to point this out because, you know, there's been a lot of stuff going on, but that's the block where the Cash Out founder was, um, you know, the way he, where he slipped away. It was that block down there. Um, I, I didn't really want to point it out when I was down there, but I can just point it out while I'm down here. I can say, look, it's down the street, you know. going across it's like a lot of traffic going on a whole bunch of dogs on the sidewalk 
It's like that hour, like, you know, afternoon where people are off work, they're out walking the dog. Where are you going, Jermaine? Where are you going? I actually want to turn back to I'm gonna I'm actually gonna meet someone there and get a ride, actually. I may actually meet them before in Bracadero, but if I have enough time, that's the meeting location. Beautiful day. Let's cross. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I'm always wondering like what, I don't know, TikTok, like, I don't know, I know that there's a lot of people, like I, I make short term, I make short form content, I do, and I enjoy making for, short term co content, but one thing I've noticed about short term content, it is very difficult to monetize like on YouTube, like it is very very difficult to monetize. So like, j j just for example, like if you just upload a YouTube Shorts on a on a YouTube channel, you're gonna need 10 million Shorts in like 90 days to qualify for the YouTube Partner Program. Now, believe it. I don't know if that sounds like a lot or not, but that's actually a lot for a short amount of time. That means that you would have to be cranking out reels like crazy. But then on the flip side. You can also make hundreds and hundreds of views and then one reel gets like a million views and then the next week it has 10 million. But then if you did that within 90 days, you would qualify for the, uh, you would qualify for the partner program for the year, right? But then you'd have to do that again like a, after a year, like it gets very confusing. And then the other way is the, um, 400 hour watch time and a thousand subscribers actually you're gonna need a thousand subscribers on the um, on the 10 million short views too but the thing is if you get 10 million short views i'm pretty sure you'll get a thousand subscribers you know if you get that many people watching the short you're gonna have a you're gonna have at least a thousand people clicking on it because at that if you get 10 million views on a video a thousand a thousand, um, oh gosh, there's that robot thing. Um, if you can get a thousand views, and if you can get 10 million views on a video, holy cow, yo. I mean, just think, like a thousand people watching, a thousand people hitting subscribe button would be nothing. <laughs> It'd be like less than 1%. You, you would probably have like a hundred thousand subscribers if you did a video. And you got 10 million views. Not necessarily. Not necessarily because I have like an Instagram video that has like 10 million views. 15 million views or something. And I basically added like no new followers. Like very few. So I guess it really depends on the type of the type of content that you're making. Depending on if people um, you know sub and follow and stuff like that. My left eight boots over here. <laughs> so 
So it looks like I will make it to Embarcadero. Pretty far. That is pretty flat. It's not windy here. It was it's windy a minute ago. It's just not windy here. We got that that bridge. That evening bridge going. Um, so back back with TikTok because you know I thought I would just chat about this. So um another thing about TikTok I kinda don't like is I, I don't like the fact that the algorithm like I, I don't like how the algorithm works. And what I'm talking about is this right here. If you really want to see how the TikTok algo works, if you really want your mind blown, what you gotta do is you gotta download the TikTok app on a device for the first time, right? And watch what it shows you. I'm not gonna talk about what it shows you, but some of the stuff is like kinda concerning. Like some of the stuff can be dangerous. Some of the stuff can be, um, should I be looking at this? Should you be showing me this? Some of the stuff can be really, put it like this, YouTube shorts don't act the same way. Um, and also Instagram don't act the same way. And I know for sure because I've started new Instagram accounts and new um, YouTube accounts. And I noticed that they don't do this, bro. Like, they don't do this at all, dude. Um, they don't show the same stuff. Now, the thing about tic- the thing about Instagram, one thing about Instagram Reels, I noticed that it shows a lot of the same type of Reels. Why don't I, don't like, I can hit that guy? That's why I'm gonna let these, these cars go. Yeah, they, I noticed on Instagram, they show like a lot of these like, they show kind of the same reels, like these talking reels where like someone will say like, oh, I'm living the best day of my life. And then you'll see them like doing something like riding a bicycle or you'll see them doing something along, along those lines, right? But then I also see, you know, these inspiration type videos, right? And then I also see like, I think inspiration type videos are like the same too. I kind of see like the same stuff online. On YouTube, when I look at the YouTube reels, the shorts, majority of the shorts I see on YouTube are shorts, shorts that are dubbed from other videos. Meaning that someone has like a 30 minute video and this person like took 30 seconds out and remixed it. Or the person that made the 30 minute video took 30 seconds out and like made that part as a clip. So I, th- these are the, these are two types of content I see like quite a bit on the two. On TikTok, it seems to me that it's just a much, much, much younger crowd with just the stuff that it shows. Another thing you can tell about how TikTok is just a much, 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 much younger crowd is with these stupid challenges. You don't hear about like YouTube. You don't hear about YouTube shorts pushing out some crazy like, you know, some crazy challenge, right? Like do this or do that or, you know, drink some, you know, drink this or drink that or like make something really gross and like drink it and eat it on camera. Like you don't really see that being pushed on Instagram or YouTube. And I think the reason why is because more young people are on TikTok. And, you know, don't get me wrong, if you're a creator, it's best to be on all platforms. Yeah, I agree. But I don't know, I just don't really, you know, yeah, maybe I can go in there and, like, upload the same reels that I upload to Instagram and Facebook and also YouTube. But then at the same time, would would that number be, be actually real? So what if they give me, like, a million subs? What if they give me 10 million subs? Well, if I'm not really making money off of that. If I can't, like, get those... If I can't get... If they give me 10 million subs and I can't get a million of them to add me on Instagram and I can't get a million of them to add me on YouTube, basically, the 10 million that they, that they gave me is, like, a fake number, you know? And it's like, so what if you give me 10 million? Like, if I can't, like, get them to follow me somewhere else, that number that's on there is, like, not even real. You know, but once again, I, I could I could be totally wrong with this. 
just like I am on a lot of other things. I could totally be wrong, but I just don't think that these numbers are as realistic as they um as realistic as they say. And how would you how would you prove it? Like how would you how would you know? Other things that 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 I thought are a little scary is I don't know, I would say like it's, it can be very addicting. Like, I use Reels on Instagram and YouTube. And I notice that a lot of times they are really... They, they, they're very addicting, you know? I, like, they are. And... Yeah, I, I have to, like, limit myself. Because if I watch Reels in the morning, sometimes I will... Sometimes I'll, like, start my day later because I spent more time watching Reels and I didn't spend time like doing something else, like getting ready or, you know, uh, making a sandwich or, you know, just doing something to make my day more productive. I was just spending more time on reels. So, I don't know. I think everyone can um, follow that. I think everyone can follow in that, fall in that category every once in a while because you're like, ah, it's so good. I just want to keep watching. Or I just found this new person and they just came out with like two videos today. And what are they talking about? Because I just started following them and they seem kind of cool and I don't have that much time in the day. And yeah, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. I made some lemonade earlier. I'm gonna stop and drink some. Lemonade with a whole bunch of chia seeds. These chia seeds be bomb, yo. I'm gonna go sit down over here somewhere. Hopefully it's not too busy. Yeah, it's like dead right now. There is some sort of game going on at the Chase Center, but there's like not anything really going on now. I think the thing, I think some, some a game or something's going on at the Chase Center. I saw um, a, a bunch of traffic going in that direction. So I made me one, made me think it might be a game going on. Let's go over here. I like going over here, sitting down. I'm like, I don't really come over here when I have the bike. It's just too much to do with the bike. And I don't like to come over here with the skateboard either because this is so loud. Let me skateboard. Let's figure out how bizarre this place looks. <laughs> it's like a building on top of water. <laughs> it's literally a building on top of water. Crazy. It's actually a beautiful pier. See, I love coming down here at this hour. You know, since I had that job, I knew I was gonna... I knew I was gonna be getting off late today, for sure. I kind of felt it. I'm not gonna sit down and have some of this lemonade really fast. Let me put my stick out of the bottom of the GoPro. Yeah, I just pretty much gotta meet someone at the ferry building like pretty soon. So, I got a little bit of time. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. I put like so much chia seeds in here. I love chia seeds. They're great. This lemonade is freaking bomb, yo. Yippee. I'm good, I'm not gonna drink it all. It's kinda sweet, I actually wanna add some water to it. Y'all need to get on the ferry? Just take the ferry, man, just take the ferry. All right, so, 
for now, I think I'm gonna get ready to wrap this one up. I gotta go over and um, I gotta go like take out soon. So I kind of want to go and add some water to my lemonade to make it um, a little weaker. Actually, I'll probably fill it up with water, make it super weak, and go to the maybe like you know go to the toilet before I meet my friend or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much what I got going on now. Dang, he about to miss his, um, about to miss his ferry. You don't want to miss your ferry, uh, have to wait a while for the next one. Long time, dude. I don't want to be waiting around. That one's going to Richmond, too. Richmond's mad far. I wonder how long is the Richmond, um, ferry. Because I know I'm bar. Dude, Richmond, take a, it took a minute to get to Richmond. It's like, like, 50 minutes. 50 to, 50 to 60 minutes to get to Richmond. But on a boat, I would imagine it's gotta be a lot faster because I don't know if it goes straight to Richmond. It could stop in like Alameda or somewhere. But if it goes from here straight to Richmond, it'll definitely be less than an hour. <laughs> like for real. <laughs> it might be like 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how fast the the ferry goes, man. So anyway, I'm gonna have to up. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out, yo. Ow!